Hello everyone, my name is Farmer Rhonda and today we are doing Stories in the Stables. Today we will be reading Wendy by Gus Gordon. She wasn't your normal sort of chicken, even when she wanted to be. Wendy lived on a little farm where there was always so much to do. But it wasn't enough for Wendy. She wanted more. So one day, Wendy did something quite extraordinary. Everyone on the farm gathered to watch. Wendy felt like a star. She waved, she waved a lot. She waved a bit too much. When Wendy woke, she found herself in the hospital. You're in the hospital, said the bear beside her. The bear's name was Bob and he was a motorcycle stunt bear. I'm a motorcycle stunt bear, said Bob, for a travelling circus. Wendy thought this sounded fabulous. I don't suppose you know anyone looking for a job, asked Bob. Wendy's eyes lit up. The next morning, Wendy received a warm welcome to Monty McFlew's most spectacular travelling circus. Monty gave her a cape and a helmet with stars all over it. Marvellous Molly juggled, the Zadooski brothers performed a magic show, and Wally Winterbottom did tricks underwater. Wendy felt right at home. On the first night, right after the fire breathing hamsters, Wendy rode her motorcycle up, up, and over a double decker bus. The crowd clapped. They had never seen a chicken so far off the ground. On the second night, Wendy revved up her motorcycle and sailed fearlessly over five double-decker buses. The crowd cheered. This chicken was unflappable. On the third night, Wendy cleared an amazing 11 buses. Monty McFlew announced loudly, Ladies and gentlemen, please put your paws and claws together for Wendy, the flying chicken. The crowd went wild. Wendy's beak tingled. It was all very exciting. Wendy's jumps got bigger and bigger. Folks came from miles around to see her fly. Everyone wanted to know Wendy. Everyone wanted to be her friend. Finally, Wendy was a star. But it wasn't enough. Everyone wanted more. So Wendy decided it was time for a stunt that was bigger and better than anything she had ever attempted. She stayed up long into the night, planning it carefully. The big day arrived. The fire-breathing hamsters made their way off stage. Wendy adjusted her goggles waved to the crowd and took off. Higher than any chicken had ever been before. As she soared away from the circus, away from the noise and the cameras and the screaming fans, she spotted her little farm far, far below. Wendy's thoughts turned to home. Somehow, she had flown a little off course. Wendy's crash was spectacular. The crowd cheered louder than they had ever cheered before. Then they all went home. Wendy tried to wave, but her wing wouldn't move. And no one was watching anyway. I saw your jump on television. It was amazing, said Bob. But I crashed, said Wendy. Yeah, but what a crash, said Bob. We could jump buses together. We could be superstars. Thanks, Bob, said Wendy. But I'm going back to a place where I don't need to be a superstar. We've missed you so much, said Primrose the pig. It's been terribly quiet, said Henry the horse. I've got all your videos, said Squeaky the rabbit. Wendy's beak tingled. It was so nice to be home. And there was always so much to do. The end. Weren't 
those high-flying adventures with Wendy amazing? Did you prefer when she was at the circus or did you like it when she came home? Thanks for listening, everyone.